love this car. Now, jiggle, jiggle, jiggle. And I remember I was fishing once, and <laughs> I actually, see them? I uh, had a pike, and I don't know how I caught it, but uh, it actually still went out. It still went into the pike. So as you can see, these are actually um, coming out from the top versus the mouth, which means they're going to be running a little bit deeper. I um, there's a bit of plastic there. I uh, I'm going to try these from 12 foot down. It might be a bit shallow, but uh, I'll just keep an eye on the rods and see what actually happens and see if it's if I see it pulling or something. But uh, I've got enough braid on; it should pull the hooks quicker than the line, and we'll get going. But as you can see really really nice lovely color that's nearly it's nearly holographic in terms of the colors of it but um we'll just see what we can find with them the moment we've all been waiting for oh my god look at that <laughs> right we'll get you back lure number two which will be a little bit less loud in terms of the colour, but we'll, uh, we'll have a look. Oh, look at that. You can see the fins. Every time I see these, ever, and the only thing that goes through my head is, my money don't jiggle jiggle, it flows. I like the way you wiggle wiggle. So, let's get going. I'll not charge us too much for listening to me singing. They do drop a lot more. What depth is it here? Right, so there's... There's 10 foot. Two and a half kilometers an hour. I'm not touching the bottom. Now, so it's... Uh, they are running a little bit deeper. But they are working. And it's... 2.3 kilometers and the rods are still moving. So I'm just going to see what we can have. So we're running at 11 to 12 foot at the moment and uh, we're not put rubble on the ground at all. Now it's a fairly flat surface, so um, it, it's not going up and down. So sometimes if it's 12 foot and there's rocks, you know, you should usually take it at about nine foot. But uh, we'll just see what today brings. There's actually something out here. You see that just over there. And uh, see it over there. I'm not actually sure what it is because it hasn't moved. It hasn't moved yet. So let's hope it's not a bloody body or something mad like that. But it could be. I wonder is it a badger or, or not a badger? Uh, otter. Because I know there's otters in this lake. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see with these new colours because uh, I know the lemon is extremely effective in the trout colours and as you've seen in the videos before the rattle trout in lemon is phenomenal so we'll just take a look and see what's what looking forward to it now big lump of stick I'd say some kids flung it in and it hasn't been washed off anywhere we hit about 10 foot there and uh, this rod actually caught um, on something so it was definitely it was just a pull and then it popped out so it was definitely something like um, a rock or a bit of weed so I just pull it in and reset the hooks the fish are jumping all around me and uh, I've literally not had a tap so uh, I'm half thinking these are trout actually getting the flies in the water in the still morning um, because I know there is trout in this, in this water but uh, I haven't actually caught one so we'll just kind of keep motoring on and see what, what we can find. But hopefully we come across something quite nice. So this area is fairly productive. Um, haven't caught anything today, but usually I'd have a good few fish out of here. So we'll just keep motoring and seeing what we can catch. So as you can see, big bait ball here, big bait ball here. Loads of bait fish. So we're in the area for the pike. We'll just have to see his luck on our side. Have one, guys. Come on, what is it? 
on the chub colour line through roach. See what we can make of this. Oh, stay down, stay down. Stay down, one. What do we have? What do we have? Oh, that's not a bad one. I will take that. Thank you very much. It's giving me a good run around. It's giving me a very good run around. Fish is full of beans today. Look at the roach in it. Ha ha! Straight into me net. <laughs> Get in there. <clears throat> right, let's have a look. That is an absolute tank of a fish. Beautiful, beautiful fish. And uh, we're gonna let it back now. But I am absolutely over the moon. Look at her. She is huge. Now Betsy, let's get you back. Look at the size of her. Such a nice fish. I find bigger fish take a little bit longer sometimes to uh, to kind of rest themselves. They have a lot bigger body. Fill up, back up with oxygen, back up with water. But uh, she's showing all the right signs to get going. She starts balancing herself again. <laughs> she's actually hiding under the net to the net to rest so i'm just gonna let her do that and then we let her chill as long as she likes there because the sport is all about well for me catch and release and let people have more fun catching fish like this and letting them back because they are beautiful beautiful animal let's see if it touch you She goes. He doesn't like being annoyed. <laughs> right, let's get more of them. Chub Roach really living up to his name. It, uh, it had big boots to fill and it's a first fish delivered. It's over a metre. So we're back out trolling again and uh, that I was following uh, bait fish earlier on this morning um, in the deeper areas and didn't have any luck so I moved to shallow areas where there is no bait fish and that beauty showed up so we're going to keep um, on the shallower side of things for now on and see does that produce any more fish and if not we'll recalculate and regroup and change the plan again but it's already been successful and uh, the line through roach has really been li has lived up to its name already now, so what are my thoughts on the new uh, line through roaches? Um, <clears throat> well, first impressions, pretty good, pretty good. They travel a lot deeper than the other ones, uh, the original ones which come out uh, the front of the mouth. These ones come out of the head. So um, yeah, they do run deeper. I was hitting the ground at about 10 foot, sometimes 12 foot. 
So it's definitely a deeper working layer, which a lot of people uh, wanted back um, in terms of the tr older 3D line through range. Some of them had a deeper swim, which these have now. And uh, I'd say a lot of people would be happy to see it uh, back. But I do have a lot of hope for these. I think these will catch me some very nice fish and also have some great fun and we'll bring you along with us. So let me know what you think of the, which colour would you put your bet on and which will catch more fish towards the, before the summer. Um, yeah, before it starts getting hot, we're going to do a lot of more pike fishing and then we'll go back to maybe some of the more uh, summer species. So don't forget to like and subscribe guys. Uh, great support in the channel at the moment and um, get on to me TikTok as well because there's a good few people following that and they seem to enjoy some of the smaller clips too. So we'll see you again guys, thanks for watching and hopefully we'll um, have some more fish in these lures.